India successfully test-fired its Agni-5 intermediate-range ballistic missile on August 20, 2025, from Chandipur, Odisha. The Ministry of Defense stated that the trial, conducted under the Strategic Forces Command, validated all operational and technical parameters. Agni-5, developed by DRDO, is an indigenously built intercontinental ballistic missile with a range of 5,000 kilometers, designed for India's long-term security needs. The latest test follows a March 2024 trial, when the missile was successfully tested with MIRV technology, enabling it to strike multiple targets with a single launch, further enhancing India's strategic deterrence capabilities. The Cabinet Committee on Security has approved the procurement of six Netra Mk2 airborne early warning and control aircraft for rupees 19,000 crore to strengthen the IF surveillance and battle management. Built on pre-owned Airbus A321s, these systems will feature advanced ASA radars with 300-degree coverage, ballistic missile tracking, and net-centric warfare capabilities. The move follows earlier clearance for six Netra Mk1A systems ensuring faster induction. With deliveries of MK-1A expected by 2030 and MK-2 from 2033, India aims to triple its AWNC fleet, addressing gaps exposed during the 2019 Balakot episode, encountering Pakistan and China's AWACS advantage. Russia said it would continue supplying oil to India, despite U.S. President Donald Trump's new 50% tariff on Indian goods, including a 25% penalty for Russian oil imports that now make up 35% of India's total, compared to just 0.2% before the Ukraine war. Moscow stressed that the trade was mutually beneficial, citing discounted prices and a rupee payment mechanism. Russian officials also highlighted plans to expand LNG and nuclear energy cooperation. Amid strained India-US ties, Russia is pushing for a trilateral partnership with India and China, as leaders prepare for upcoming SCO and bilateral meetings. NCERT has launched two educational modules on Operation Sindor for classes 3 to 12, to instill national pride and awareness of India's counter-terror capabilities. The initiative comes after the April 2025 Pahalgam terror attack that killed 26 civilians, allegedly orchestrated under Pakistan's leadership. India responded on May 7 with precise strikes, destroying nine terror camps in Pakistan and POJK, including Lashkari Taiba and Jayashi Muhammad strongholds. The modules emphasize zero civilian casualties, military coordination, and India's growing global stature. Tailored for different student levels, the material frames the operation as both a military success and a moral commitment to peace and justice. India and China agreed to restart direct flights and enhance trade and investment as part of efforts to mend ties, strained since the 2020 border clash. The decision followed Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi's visit to New Delhi for the 24th round of border talks with NSA Ajit Doval. While no breakthrough was reached on troop pullback or boundary issues, both sides pledged continued dialogue, with the next round scheduled in China in 2026. India also raised concerns over China's mega dam on the Yarlung Zhongbo in Tibet, stressing transparency due to its impact on downstream nations. In a major boost to India's Super Sukhoi program, Russia has offered the advanced AL-41 engines, currently used in Su-57 stealth fighters, for the IF Su-30 MKI fleet. The engines would be locally manufactured at House Nashik plant, strengthening the Make in India push. The AL-41 promises higher thrust, better fuel efficiency, and superior maneuverability without major airframe changes. This proposal comes under the Rs. 66,829 crore upgrade plan for 84 Su-30 MKIs, 
including UTAMESA radar and Astra missiles. While attractive, India is weighing costs, timelines, and COTS related risks, alongside indigenous engine development options. India is set to begin production of its S 5 class nuclear powered ballistic missile submarines or SSBNs by 2027, marking a major advancement in its sea based nuclear deterrent. The S-5 class, displacing 12,000 to 13,500 tons, will feature a 190 MW reactor, longer patrol endurance, and the capacity to carry 12 to 16 next-generation K-5 and K-6 SLBMs, with MIRV capability. This leap follows the completion of the S-4 series, and builds on the Urahunt class program. Once operational in the early 2030s, the S-5 fleet will significantly enhance India's second strike capability and ensure a robust, survivable nuclear triad. <laughs> India's DRDO has begun prototyping a 50 kW solid-state laser weapon after the successful April 2025 trials of its 30 kW Sahastra Shakti system. Developed by DRDO's Center for High Energy Systems and Sciences, in Hyderabad, the new system aims to neutralize larger threats, including medium-altitude drones, helicopters, and incoming rockets or artillery shells. Retaining a mobile, vehicle-mounted design, it integrates electro-optical and infrared sensors, Kuband radar, and advanced beam control for precision targeting and rapid multi-engagement. Building on the 30 kW system's operational success, the 50 kW laser marks a major step in strengthening India's defense against drone swarms and modern battlefield threats. <laughs> India's aero engine development has entered a decisive phase, with DRDO and private industry intensifying efforts to achieve self reliance for future fighter jets. Experts suggested a phased spiral development strategy, first creating a 90 kN engine for the Tejas Mk2, before scaling to the 110 to 120 kN thrust needed for the AMCA stealth fighter. The approach builds on progress with the Kaveri derivative engine, which recently achieved 78.4 kN wet thrust, but remains short of Tejas Mk2 requirements. The move is also aimed at reducing dependence on US-made GE engines, particularly amid rising trade tensions and technology transfer uncertainties. <laughs> India's advanced medium combat aircraft, the country's first indigenous fifth-generation stealth fighter, is being seen as a possible foundation for a sixth-generation platform. A concept called AMCA FX or Future Experimental envisions retaining AMCA's stealth design, diverterless supersonic inlets, and twin engine layout while introducing radical features such as tailless design, flat nozzles with thrust vector control, expanded internal weapons bays, and 40% greater range. These upgrades align with global 6 gen benchmarks like advanced networking, AI integration, adaptive engines, and optionally manned capability. Experts believe this evolution could accelerate India's leap into next-gen air combat, strengthen strategic autonomy under Make in India, and enhance Indo-Pacific deterrence against rapidly modernizing rivals. That's all from YKS team for now, hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.